Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nistro here and welcome back to our next replay analysis. You guys voted and you wanted super heavy. Um, last time we did a budget rescue ace variant that was a little more standard. You could say it was just like plain budget rescue ace with the terahertz package in the um, extra deck and just trying to get the most out of the rescue ace engine without the need of wanted or expensive cards. In the super heavy variant of rescue ace you kind of do need to make con some concessions first off is right like you you're less reliant on cards like prosperity to dig you into your engine yes you do have a little more space for non-engine if you're not including the soul guy booster plus big bank but the fact is that you played three wanted one to two diabelle star one original simple spells right that's six slots you got to dig you into hydrant a lot easier whereas like the super heavy package is kind of the same thing you have three wakashi and three motorbike both of which guarantee you a route into getting into airlifter and then airlifter starts to hold turn so we have nine cards still in main in the super heavy variant of rescue ace that can dig us into an airlifter in the super heavy variant you have to cut prosperity down to like one or two copies because a you can brick on it and b if you resolve this it cannot be before you resolve the super heavy stuff i still want it in the list if i want to dig for like side ins or stuff like that but i don't want it to be the focus of the deck i don't want the deck to like kind of crutch on resolving a prosperity in a, this variant simply because you want your super heavies to do all the work for you we cut preventer back down to two right because now we're on a normal variant of rescue ace we're not hoping to get as many rescue aces as possible in hand let's look at impulse down to two we're still on fire engine even though we lose to super poly i i like losing to super poly less than i like losing just to like not having any interaction or like not being able to build a board and the fact of the matter is is that if you end up going the synchro route right in case you already open the airlifter or you already open the emergency you start with motorbike then motorbike can get you into baron and so baron can kind of like when you go into the baron route you you set up a pendulum scale and then the pendulum scale can like you know give you a little more uh versatility as to what you can do right you can go into fire engine you can go I figure, you know, let's just keep Fire Engine here in case I feel the need to dig into Engine. Also for going second Impulse is great because, you know, it, it helps us just spam out Turbulence or spam out a, a Hydrant if our opponent activates a monster effect. We still have to play our five Soft Bricks. Not even gonna hold you, like if you really wanted to, you could probably cut HQ, but um, I think in this variant, you still should play them. And then we have our non-engine at the bottom here. We have 10 slots for non-engine. So plus the two impulses, that's about uh, 10 hand traps, uh, three ash, three draw, one imperm, one nib, two impulse. And that's really because we're playing cross out. And the reason why we're only on one cross out in main is because the chance of opening motorbike to go into Baron mitigates the chance of like opening cross out. So I think it like balances out there also because we have called by. So it's like called by cross out or motorbike go into baron and that's like five ways in our main deck that can get us into uh either something that can stop like a ash a droll or into a baron which can be an omni before um, nib. we don't have to go crazy on the cross out targets we do still have stuff like shifter i'll be honest here i think this deck can also play through shifter i think like if you really hate fire king and you're seeing fire king a lot you might be able to play triple shifter because wakashi and motorbike like motorbike discards it doesn't send from hand to grave so it can play through shifter wakashi into soul guy booster plays through shifter into dempsey airlifter goes straight into emergency and emergency just goes set four right so the fact that you're setting four through shifter unless they have like a board breaker turn one it may be really hard for them to even play through that shifter in this deck could actually be something worth playing if you think like you can utilize it in your list if not then you know you can use it as a cross out target for when you want to go into like when you want to start doing like princess combos and yes princess is in the list i know you're probably looking at this extra deck price you're probably looking at first off this main deck price isn't real all right like nothing here is worth more than a dollar other than the drolls and the cross out Everything else here is worth less than a dollar. Oh yeah, and the one prosperity, excuse me, the one prosperity is probably worth like three or four bucks as like a super rare. 
but everything else here is worth like less than a dollar i figured since we have to play the axel synchro anyway which is like a 30 dollar card it's like princess is around 30 and then access codes around 25 everything else in the extra deck's pretty cheap underworld goddess is like touching eight nine bucks and so is apo you can swap a underworld goddess for something else i figured just to kind of like i, I kind of wanted to like upgrade the uh quality of the extra deck if we're going to play this variant because i don't want to rely on like uh weaker monsters just for the sake of budget because to play the super heavy variant you do need to axel synchro and unless this gets reprinted in like a rarity collection um coming up in may or the tins coming out next year I think you're going to have to kind of make the concession of, yeah, I'm going to need to get an Axel Synchro. So just be really careful about that. But Dempsey's only like $2, and it's, in case you don't want to do the Baron side of things, at least Dempsey is really cheap. We have a little fire package here, right? So we got Phoenix, Sunlight Wolf, we got Hida, um, because fire is a thing. We got Pit Knight early, because Pit Knight early is like the best fire link to pop with Princess, like second to Amblo Whale. And I figured because we can't afford SP Little Knight, I took out the IP because most most games you're not really going for IP. Like IP is kind of just sitting there. I mean, kind of kind of just gonna sit in your extra deck, maybe be banished as a prosperity target. Like if you already have the ability to go SP, Rescue Ace needs to go SP first turn just to protect the front row. And so you can really only go IP if you have either a second SP Little Knight or if you um, want to go into something like Nightmare Unicorn or Apo. I think that's the whole deck explained. We still have Reinforce and Fire Attacker here for the same reasons, right? Like against control decks, Fire Attacker is better than uh, Fire Engine. Evenly, you can probably take out Evenly. I I'm gonna keep it real here. Maybe as like a cross out target, you can keep it in. But like ultimately, because it's super heavy stuff, I don't think you need to max out on this anymore. You got Fetter Duster, Cyclones, Dark Rulers to play around stuff. Because we can't really do Cash Two or Fenrir's. Maybe like Dino Wrestler or Pankatrops, because because it's at two now, or Kaiju's if you don't feel like Dark Ruler fits in the deck. But I just personally like Dark Ruler. And then we have the other nibs in case like we're facing a like a real combo deck. We got other nibs. We got a Veiler in case we see Veiler in their list, and we can you know use it as a cross out target and shifter in case we see shifter in your list we use it as a cross out target and then uh tactics if we feel like they're playing a lot of hand traps in their list or if you're playing against like fire king and they're activating effects a lot then you know you can tactics either draw take do whatever you got to do i think we want to go first here fuck why did we do a big bang k already if he generally has something other than branded fusion i lose oh he has tactics uh yeah that's uh I hope he didn't get to see my hand before I surrendered because I don't want to. <laughs> I I did not want to give up deck knowledge yet. I think Droll isn't as strong as this deck as like Nib is. I also don't think Imperms is strong either. But we're going first here, so I think I want to just put in like some extra protection, maybe a uh, just some extra protection against certain hand traps. Maybe turn like one Makashi into uh, and let's just see how that goes he just knows he's playing super heavy so i'm curious how he's gonna side unfortunately yeah drawing the big bang k was like a terrible way to fucking start our turn oh my god we fucking drew it again are you serious <laughs> yeah we can we cannot use wakashi if we um open big bang k i think i'm just gonna not go the route that uses these two i think i'm just gonna normal summon hydrant and link up into princess Oh wait, I could normal summon Hydrant, search Airlifter, and then Pendulum summon it. That's actually going to be hilarious. Hold on. That's what I should have did last game. Actually, I just realized I could have did that last game. And I didn't. Droll? No Droll. Okay. Dude, Pendulum actually best deck. I grab the emergency. Oh, well, it's going to be awkward since we already have three slots. I have to, like, plan out how to fucking... Which ones to set. I think we set alert and the two traps. Yeah, I think that's the correct thing to set. The two traps... alert 
because although this is a weaker board to what we had you know to what we would get normally it's better to have this than not be able to play at all let's go preventer and then we can start our link climbing as long as he doesn't open super poly we should be all right and yeah we can't use wakashi effect to summon himself either link rebo go preventer i want to say banish airlifter yeah you know what let me just go pit knight not overthink it he might have a nib in hand uh which is fine i think take the l if he has it he just lets me summon back this airlifter then he nibs me um princess he's not gonna nib me here Wait, hold on. Why is it only letting me summon back Pit Knight early? I didn't select Pit Knight. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fuck it. That's so weird. Well, he still has a nib anyway. I really wanted some back uh, Rescuous Preventer here. My man needs to make a decision. Dude, the fact that we have one less set kind of sucks because now we can't rescue off of a uh, nib. I think maybe instead of contain, or actually no, I'm playing against branded. Maybe instead of extinguish, I, I could have set rescue. And then whichever fusion dragon he summoned, like let's say he had like a call by or something for my ash, whatever fusion dragon he summoned, I can contain it with like hydrogen on field. So it's effects negated and it can, can't be used for any kind of fusion summon. Maybe. Is dude gonna lose the timer? What the fuck? I think dude is just gone. He's just AFK. Wait, hold on. He's he's down to four seconds. Okay. Uh, blow whale then, because we got to link off this. Uh... All right. We're just gonna hit end turn there. Why isn't it letting me end turn? Ah, this deal. It's gonna banish Link Reba. Cool. Oh my god, we could uh Promethean Princess, couldn't we? Princess pop summon back. There's no point in popping this, right? Like there's there's no point. He had a bestial, he didn't have fucking nib. Okay, that's fine. Nothing during draw phase. Nothing in standby. Main phase one, let's see what he has. I hope it's not Fetter Duster. I wouldn't scoop, but I'd just be like, there's no way you have Fetter Duster. Uh, opening's fine. Let him get his discard. All right. Oh, of course he had Tragedy. Okay, well. He gets uh, Quem here, uh, Tragedy Search, a Luber. Or maybe, or maybe the other way around. You summon a Luber, search Quem. Cause, yeah, just cause like that plays around Droll better, I would say, unless he already has the branded fusion. Because now it's like I'm gonna hit him with Droll here. If he doesn't already have branded fusion, he just scoops. I think. Oh wait, there you go. All right, there you go. Boom, Droll. I was like, no way, I missed my Droll timing. Like it, it didn't ask me if I wanted to activate Droll yet. So, all right, no more cards from deck to hand this turn. Let's see what else you got. Normal summon a Luber. Summon Cartesia is fine. All right, uh, do we Princess Cartesia? No, she can just fusion off. It's no point, right? No. I think we just activate Contain. We have to be contained if she, she tries to fusion summon. Go into battle phase. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first off, why didn't you switch to sound air into attack mode? Secondly, literally he had the play around roll. It was a uh, summon. It was a uh, add quem summon a luber. 
because it was like, okay, branded opening, summon a Luber mill despian tragedy, new chain on the new chain. You search branded fusion and you search Quem and then that plays around Droll, right? And then he didn't use his normal summon yet. Normal summon the Quem. I mean, I still have the Ash anyway, but I feel like he could have played that better. So, uh, oh shit, we're going into game three. <laughs> do I want to play more Drolls? I don't think I do. Maybe I want to put Impulse back up to... I don't want to draw double tactics. Or I don't really care if I open tactics um, against Branded. It's not like crazy. I think Imperm isn't crazy either. I kind of like... Uh, they can play around Nib pretty well. I might want to do... No, they... I don't need to put in Fetter Duster or anything. You know what? I'll keep in the double tactics. And I'll take out a cross out. Yeah, that looks better. Tie? Okay. That's, that was weird. All right, bike plus Wakashi plus cross out. It's interesting. We're not going first though. And we have no interaction. Okay, Allure of Darkness, Branded? Banish Despian Tragedy? Please tell me you're cooking. There's no way you resolve Allure of Darkness in 2024 unless you're cooking like the spiciest list. Oh, danger. What is this, tier? Bro, what the fuck am I going up against? Oh, Dark Worlds. People use Allure in Dark Worlds? What the fuck? What does this guy do? A real discard one fiend monster special minion and discard the other. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, archives. Am I gonna get silver looped? I hope not. I, I I gotta just let this guy do his thing because I don't I don't have any interaction. So we're gonna be sitting here until he's done. <clears throat> nice. It's a dark world. This dude, Rainbow, Gates of Dark World. You know, my hand still hasn't been touched yet, and I think that's a good sign. Right? Uh. Ah, when he, he summons himself back when you... When he's Spanish, that's cool. Alright. Is he gonna do some cool rank 8 overlay? Is that not once per turn? What the fuck? The searching's not once per Oh my god. Okay. Dark world, if monsters in eh, fiend is discarded. But you can discard one, then draw two. Wait. So if a fiend if a monster whose original type is fiend is discarded wait, I drew a card. What did I draw a card? Uh I'm definitely dropping extinguish. Because I can get it back with the emergency. Oh, but now he has matchup knowledge. Fuck. Right, now he knows he's up against Rescuous. What the fuck did he do? Was that Mothman? Oh, I think Mothman whiffed. So we both drew one, then, then uh, dropped one. Okay. I still haven't got a hand loop, though. So that's a good thing. Oh, what the fuck? Did I speak too soon? My man's woke up today and said, yo, I'm gonna hop on YG Omega with Dark Worlds. Check check this out. Alright, Dark Corridor. Add one, dark, drop one. Where's the sauce? Like, where's, where's the hand looping? Like, is it... Does it really take this long? All right, drop snow, search a dark world. All 
All right, Sarah, you just summon. Summon Silva. Cool. Bound Silva, summon Graffa. Or Rainbow. I even know it was like that. So when do we get to the hand looping? Summon Graffa, cool. All right. So when do we get to the hand looping? Another Gates of Dark World. Cool. Here we go again. Dude, I, I really wish I drew Droll, not because I feel like Droll would have done anything, but because just so this turn would be over. Because bro is, bro is not cooking, like nothing, nothing has happened. Oh, here we go, Dark World Fusion. Nice, nice. We, he gets to summon the big Graffa. Alright, and Graffa changes the my effects into he discards, right? Uh, monster effect or a normal spell or trap card. Hey, it doesn't stop emergency, so that's cool. Alright, summon Silva. Bounce Silva, summon Rainbow, I bet. Is that it? Alright, he adds back the fusion spell. What is bro doing? He's just summoning shit. Alright. Coach King Game Trainer? Number 90? Zombie Vampire? Oh. Game Trainer it is. Draw three. At least I get hand knowledge. Alright. Shackalope. Cool. Drag down. Okay. Again. Okay. Um that that doesn't look very good. I think he's gonna gen me. Yeah, because he didn't use his normal summon. Right. Summon can can force him to discard to draw two drop one. Silva Is this where I get hand looped? Selected cards return to deck. Okay, well. We're gonna start with Wakashi. Oh wait, select at least two. What the fuck? Um. Well, that's not good. I think I send back cross out. Sure. The question is, can he do that again, or is that like? Because I, you know. From my perspective, I still have the same hand, you know. So I don't know what he's cooking with this field. But, you know, uh, actually, by getting rid of uh, Wakashi, that was actually kind of stupid. I just realized because he has to fucking graph a fusion. I probably shouldn't have done that. Dude, I, I want to nib this field so hard. And then he has tactics. He's gonna shuffle back the motorbike, I think. If he doesn't shuffle back motorbike, he's crazy. What the fuck? Dude, I could just like summon Baron by like banishing emergency. I mean, banishing extinguish, summon motorbike. Summon preventer, go Baron. That would be funny. Oh, nice. We're gonna get Apo. That's, that's cool. Drag down. Uh, da, 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 da. I think we go... Genta. Alright, now I just... Oh, nice! <laughs> Even better. Another drag down. Okay. He's gonna drop my hydrant. I'm gonna drop his silva. Nice! <laughs> I 
I mean, well, it's kind of useless, but... Oh, you know what? Dude, if I had a fucking Typhon, man, I could have fucking... Alright, uh, target face card opponent controls, destroy it. Is he gonna do that? I don't think he is. No, because he, he summoned Bigfoot with its own effect. Ooh. Uh, summon Nessie. This is this is the kind of deck you need Dark Ruler against. This this is why Dark Ruler is in my side deck. <laughs> Cause look, look what the fuck he's doing. Like just wasting the damn court's time, making like dirty negates, playing with himself. I don't know. Wait, what the fuck? He card destructioned. And I drew another motorbike. Okay, well. Now it's GG's, because I can't use either motorbike or anything, because stupid. I mean, I could banish emergency, reset the extinguish so I have no spells and traps in grave. I have a nightmare griffin. What the fuck are you going to set back? Dark corridor. Okay. Hard ones per turn, but, you know, do you, I guess. Mockraker, probably some back Graffa. Yep. You know, he is like letting me draw so much. Like, he's so lucky I haven't drawn like any hand trap, like no nib, no nothing. I mean, I guess he has Apo, so it doesn't matter. And uh, he, I also have Ken, so I can't imperm anything. I would love to just Dark Ruler this field, but we don't play Dark Ruler main. Maybe this is an argument to play Dark Ruler in Main. Nice. Okay. Uh, clearly, emergency to reset the extinguish. Yeah. Uh, graphic can't stop this. Uh, we can go, let's see, activate a monster effect or normal spell or trap card. Uh, if I can force him to discard, well, Silva puts the cards at back of bottom of deck. I was going to say, like, if I could force him to discard... Uh, for my hand, then Preventer would be able to summon back um, the Hydrant. But uh, it does not seem like that will be the case because uh, as soon as I activate Preventer by banishing Hydrant, he's going to Graffa. I don't think he's going to Apo. I think he's probably going to Graffa. Yeah. So that stops Preventer from going anywhere. Which is lame as fuck. But uh yeah, that's that's GG's. I mean Does does he app negate this? Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Uh we're gonna be going first this time, and uh we are siding in Plenty of fun cards. I don't even think... Does Nib even work against the deck? Because they can just discard, summon back. I think, like, the Cosmics are the most effective. And I, I think maybe the Tactics as well. Maybe instead of... Cross it doesn't seem like he's playing a lot of hand traps. He might be playing them all inside and just waiting for me to... Um... It doesn't seem like he's playing a lot of hand traps, so I'm gonna cut this out. Uh, cut out. Let's cut out impulse. And 
we will try it like this. Let's go first. Dude, why do we keep drawing Big Bang? Oh my god. This is crazy. This is like the fucking third time we've drawn it in like four games. Somebody's rigging the damn shit. Alright, uh, so if we drop Motorbike, add Wakashi, Wakashi Plus. Like, we can go, um... I think we just normal summon Hydrant, special summon uh, Fire Engine, and then we go into... Dude, I really wish Wakashi could at least be an extender, but we keep drawing this damn thing. I think if I want to bait the Droll, I at least want to get to Turbulence before I bait Droll. So... I think... I think I go Turbulence here. I don't even bother with the Super Heavy Engine since I'm drawing this- since I keep drawing this thing. Uh... And then, yeah, so we link climb into princess, and then when we go princess, we revive the hydrant, and then uh, then we activate our sets. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go these two into sunlight. Uh oh, well that's kind of stupid because I can't even. Oh, yeah, we have to banish it. We can't even fucking... Yeah. I should have just made Pit Knight then. Fuck it. Alright, step four. Uh, emergency rescue, since we can't go for alert. Uh, any response? What could he respond with there? Because that wasn't that wasn't five summons. Uh, unless he had like a Veiler or something. Do we end on? Yeah, I think we still go for Blow Whale. Uh, summon back. Just go for fucking blow whale. And I think we uh, pass turn. Oh, I was gonna hit surrender. <sighs> uh, since it's draw phase, I mean, we could. Emergency pop preventer, summon back fire engine. We could do that preemptively. And then we have rescue for the fire engine or for turbulence. Let's see how he goes for game. I, I guess that, that would be a little more interesting. Alert. Because he has a monster that when it's banished, he could summon it back, right? So, I figured it's best to just let him do his thing. If he has super poly, he has it. I don't mind. Oh my god. Did we just get lava golemed? What year is this? What the fuck? I think we... You know, the funny thing about Lava Golem is we still play around Princess. I mean, we still have Princess Engrave uh, for that, so... That's actually not a big deal for us to get Lava Golems. I think we lose here, though. Because of these... Oh my god, we keep drawing these instead of hand traps, man. Like, the fact we keep drawing, like, Big Benkei is crazy. And then, like, we had to use our uh, normal summon to fucking get to Hydrant. Uh, Grapha. Oh, he's targeting this? Oh, he's targeting the trap. 
Hmm. That's no good. I'm 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 just have to let him do his thing. Uh yeah, we can summon back engine here. I think it's a smart thing to do. Oh shit. Uh Oh my uh, why the fuck did I press no? Oh my god. Dude, all these damn pop-ups. I, like, I was trying to get rid of the, the, the graveyard so I could think, but... Uh, shit. Another? Oh my god, and he's so lucky I fucking misclicked with uh, engine. You gotta be kidding me. This, this, this gotta be a fucking joke, right? Like, this... Like I'm 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 getting trolled right now, right? Alright. Drag down. Uh oh, cool. Well. Chose the talents. See, so I did rainbow. Of course he got the shit that digs for gates oh my god please just drop one draw one right oh no it's drop one banish one what does this do when it's dropped add it Level five, I hire a dark world from deck to hand. Dude, this is crazy. It shows the prosperity. Please tell me that's it. All right, summon Grapha. You have nothing else in hand, right? Another fucking... Why is that thing not once per turn? What the fuck? Dude, this shit's crazy. I'm just getting bomboed. Dude, what a waste of time. Like, we've been dueling for like 30 minutes and like at least 20 of those minutes have just been l fucking... Bro, I'm I'm tired of watching this. I don't I don't even care. I, I I was I was just tired of fucking looking at that shit. Second off, I'm tired of drawing Big Benke. All right, I don't know why the fuck we've drawn it three fucking games so far. It's a one of. Maybe we have to go over forty. Maybe over forty is the way. Okay. I mean, drawing Guy Booster is less offensive than drawing, uh, I mean, this hand sucks, but drawing Guy Booster is less offensive than drawing, uh, Big Benkei, at least. Do I lose? I think I lose. I just draw him on his first search and then scoop if he still plays, plays his turn. Are you going to search Therion Coliseum, please, so I can draw you? Oh, Jasmine. Okay. Right. He already had the Colosseum. Cool. Now he's gonna go for Regulus, I bet. Uh, honestly, we don't beat... No effects? No way. Actually, no, that just means that it's resolving. Never mind. I was about to say, there's no way this that's, like, no effect. There's no way you don't search something. Oh, okay. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> We're going second. Side out the whole fucking engine. Instead of that, we get that. Uh, maybe instead of impulse, but that seems kind of like a stretch. Five. 
or we'll do two nibs. We'll do two ni two nibs, three droll, three ash, two dark ruler, one tactics. I think we should be fine. But maybe fetter duster on top of all this. Just so like if he ends on like con like in case we don't draw any like hand traps, if he ends on con con or something, we can like just fetter duster him. Just get rid of all that bullshit at once. Uh, I don't think he knows what deck we're on yet because we didn't reveal anything. We didn't even get to draw him before he scooped, so. Sure is a day in life of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. We only drew one hand trap. Oh, Man, that was free. I was about to say, we only drew Ash plus Rhoda. I mean... Nice, we get to go first. Oh wow, would you look at that? No big Benkei in the opening hand. All right, uh, we lose to Droll here, but we have Cross out, so we should be fine. No Droll, right? Awesome. Uh, activate. Uh, no Chain, we're gonna play Benkei. All right, activate Benkei, search Gaia. Activate Gaia, equip. Oh. Go for Axel. We're not gonna use the uh, Wakashi effect. There's no point in, in uh, using a Pendulum Summon, so yeah. We drew the nuts. We, we, we kind of drew the nuts, so we're just gonna go Axel here. Uh, just hoping we don't lose to the main deck. Fucking. Like, main deck Bell would be crazy in this situation. I mean, it's probably appropriate for the format, but. Yeah, it would still be pretty funny. We're also going to activate uh, Baron Popper on Big Ben K, just so we don't lose to our own combo. Alright, so summon Airlifter. Airlifter effect, grab Emergency. Look at that, we're gaming! Finally, after how, fu how many fucking rounds? How many fucking rounds did it take for us to, like, game like this? Uh, search turbulence. We already have an Omni on board, so we can just banish, banish. All right, set three of the spells and the other trap. Uh, zones don't really matter. Uh, we can use alert here. Wait, is he thinking? Why, why would he think on res of setting? Why, why would he not think before the set? Uh, it can't be a, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, it can't be a bestial. I think we just alert. Go for preventer. Uh, then we start our link climb. What do we have in Grave? We can add back the Turbulence, I think. If we really wanted to. We can go Sunlight Wolf. Banish uh, Hydrant, summon back. Summon out Preventer. Sunlight Wolf, add back Turbulence. I think that's, that's the play. If we really wanted to, we could have uh, kept Hydra Engrave and added it back off of Sunlight Wolf 2, but we're not gonna do all that right now. Uh, let's go. Princess, activate Preventer, summon back Hydrant. Uh, let's go. 
princess effects. Summon back preventer. And then link off to Amblo Whale. And I believe that's all she wrote. We lose to Super Poly. Unless we make this Link Rebo. We can make a Link Rebo right now so we don't lose to Super Poly. Actually. Or we can make Pit Knight so we don't lose to Super Poly either. I, I like the idea of make Pit Knight here, actually. Yeah. Just so we don't lose to Super Poly. And then. I don't know, set this so that they don't ash us on emergency. And we in turn. Okay. Right. Um I think I wanna let this go through. This this can't be voiceless, because voiceless has to play pre-prep. Uh what could this be? Could be Drytron? It might be. If it's Drytron, I think I let them cook. No, it's Makonko. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna let them cook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them do their thing. Snake Eye Ash. Okay, uh... I kinda wanna Baron negate this. Cause I don't want this to stay face up on field. What I could do... I think I ash this. Yeah. Add a Makanko from deck to hand. You know what I want to do? I want to do emergency. If he has a super poly, he has it. I'll go preventer. Tribute. Preventer, summon back airlifter. What does this do? Uh, summon a Makanko from hand, ignoring summon conditions. You can only use each effect. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to Baron negate this. So we go airlifter, airlifter, search, rescue. I mean, HQ. Open game state. I think I let him cook in open game state. Deflects the graveyard effects. Some conco from deck to grave. Uh, sure. Can't do much about that. Uh, yeah. Miyawashi Dory. He's gonna get to summon back his. Take no battle damage if you play your equips. Okay. Uh, we're gonna princess this thing. Oh wait, shit. Um, it can't be destroyed, right? Because it comes back with an equip card. Yeah. Fuck. At least we won't be able to summon about Flameberg. Uh oh, Amble Will doesn't target. We're gaming, we're gaming. Um Target Makanka's you control card effects. Hold on. Hold on. Uh Quit Monster Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. Uh, let's go chain rescue. Bring out preventer. And then we can pop. And then we're gonna chain this to book a moon that. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be going 
second now. And so I'm going to take out cross out. Uh, maybe put another nib, put in dark ruler, put in tactics. I like siding out motorbike. Um, maybe even side out HQ. <laughs> I don't want to draw into it, honestly. I think uh, <clears throat> it might be better if I just don't draw HQ. We still have seven ways into airlifter, not including emergency and hydrant and impulse. Um, let's see, we got four here. Let's do fetter duster. Cause he won't be able to be targeted anyway. I mean, we could put in evenly, like take out all the motorbikes or take out Obakashi, put in the evenly. Or put in other tactics. Maybe another nib. Actually, I don't even know if he plays into nib going first. I don't even know his board. I'm gonna I'm just grab a second dark ruler. Swap. Okay. We drew a pretty good hand. <laughs> wow. This hand's pretty stacked. Um No effect on Poplar? Okay. Original Simple, we're definitely gonna ash that. Does he scoop? <laughs> what okay. Uh, yeah, our hand was pretty stacked. I'm really surprised, like, he had nothing but Poplar. Like, I think maybe he was on, like, three Ash. I mean, EDO Pro lets you check your opponent's deck, right? Like, I thought that would be how it works here, too. Guess not. Um, let's do one more. Let's, let's do one more. Let's, let's try to get, uh, past Silver here. All right, duelist, let's see what you got. Okay. Now, this is awkward. We drew Wakashi plus airlifter. Hmm. What should we prioritize? I guess we do Wakashi first to bait hand traps. I think that's what I want to do. Um, I don't care if I get trolled here because we already have emergency and we have alert. Ooh, maybe I should norm summon out the hydrant. In case I get trolled on this big bank, I could just uh search search preventer, like I mean search turbulence right here. But then oh no, I have airlifter, right? Who do you norm summon in a situation like this? You know what? I think I still norm summon hydrant anyway. We'll do this to get our extender. It's free. It's free real estate. No droll on res. It doesn't look like. I think I want to go emergency here. Go straight into turbulence. Because I can't really make a monster that protects turbulence anyway. So it's either he has the imperm or he doesn't. Yeah, I think I, wanna, I just go straight into turbulence. So I don't lose to Nib, right? Because that's one, two. This would be three. Uh, and then summon Turb would be four. And then we activate. And we just hope that we don't get Imperm. Well, if we get Imperm, it doesn't matter. Okay, nice. Um, two, three, I think we set three. I think we set only these three and then because we already have the emergency in hand, we keep the emergency just so like if we want to get back into a preventer or like a turbulence, we can do, we can do that. Alright. Alright, so activate Soul Gaia. Equip.
At this point, I guess I kind of don't care what I make. Like, yeah, you see, he has the nib here, which is fine. Because we, we don't really lose to anything. All right, so he has his nib. We're going to go emergency. Uh, summon preventer. Tribute preventer. Preventer effect. Summon back hydrant. Uh, we can place hydrant right here. Uh, we can then rescue for... We can either use a trap and reset it with emergency or we can rescue. Those are our options. We can't Hita because he didn't use an Ash Blossom. Uh, like we can make Hita. Like we can use Rescue, summon back a monster and then make Hita, right? Yeah. Or we can just extinguish and then reset. I think I want to use rescue, summon back the preventer, or the turbulence, it doesn't really matter which one, because he already used, he already used his nib, oh, we didn't even get a hydrant search, oh shit, um, search impulse, yeah, okay, now I'm feeling a little better about this, uh, we can... I don't know. Book of Moon the Nib, I guess. <laughs> Just because we can. Uh, this is 2 plus effect monster. So to turn Nib token into a threat, go Hita. And then we can go Princess. And then Princess can use his effect. It doesn't really matter who we summon back, but uh, summon back, I don't know, Turbulence. Then uh, link these off into Amblo Whale. And I think we pass turn. You know, if he has Lightning Storm, he. I've just opened him up to allow him to activate Lightning Storm, but no one mains Lightning Storm, right? Like, this is game one. But even if he had Lightning Storm, we're still not in a terrible position because... Oh, shit, his Voiceless. Voiceless Branded, okay. Because we pop Amblo Whale, summon back Princess. Uh, Amblo Whale triggers, summons back Hita. Um... Oh, this is going to be awkward, though. Okay, uh, he's using Diviner. We're gonna go Impulse to go for... Hopefully he doesn't have Ash. If he has Ash, he's crazy. He's actually good at the game. Okay, no Ash. Uh... I think I go Engine. I wonder who, who he mills. Uh, Trius? Oh, it's a quick effect to tribute. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Uh, let's activate fire engine. Summon a level two lower fairy. Uh, what does this do? It doesn't do anything. It just stays there. Uh, I think we're good. We don't need to pop anything yet. I'm gonna summon a hydrant from deck. Uh, and then on on the low we can use contain. We're not gonna use. Wait, hold on. It cannot be used fusion link synchro or exceed. So if he has the ritual spell, he still gets to summon back the low. I think I I 
think I go contain. Because I could use extinguish to pop it and make sure it never comes back. I think I contain here. I don't know if I contain it, if it still counts as the full ritual. I don't know if that's part of the effect or if that's like a condition. Hopefully that's part of the effect. I mean, he still has a trias. Uh, resolve low. I could destroy the low with extinguish. Just to make sure that all his monsters can be targeted. Because uh, he already uses normal summon. I think we should go for it. I think we pop low. And then low cannot use his effects for the rest of the turn. Unless some... Um, Harder, fast effects. Oh, then Kariba. Well, he can't swing over both. SP. Uh, no effect? Interesting. Oh, wait, yeah, because he didn't use a fucking monster. I mean... That's fine. I guess. I don't know what he's cooking. He's still has... D Does he still have Sephira? Pre-prep! Oh my god. No way. No way he still makes it. He's probably still gaming, actually. Uh, Sephira, Center Ritual, Out of Light Warrior. No, so now he has pre prep and he has the full tribute because he can just add another Skull Guardian. And then he adds Seravis. Oh my god. I should have just popped the SP Little Knight while I had the chance. Or pop the Blow Whale plus SP. And then SP banish both. Yeah. Oh, he's using Saravis from hand. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bro had the called by. What the fuck? Ah, uh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. I mean, he definitely can't game me. Like, all he can do is, like, search barrier. Um, barrier search. Saravis or, an, or another low. Oh, he's gonna go for another Saravis. Okay, uh, activate Carter fast effect. No. I'm kind of crutching on this Hydrant staying alive. I don't believe he can summon out anything else. So he attacks into Blow Whale. Blow Whale summons out Hita. And that gives me the ability to... Oh, never mind. Light Ritual from Hander deck. Is he going to go battle? He can swing into Hydrant now. I think he starts Saravis attack Fire Engine... Skull Guardian attack Blow Whale. Blow Whale. If I trigger Blow Whale, then he gets to Saravis summon out. Wait, he's he's ritual summoning? Uh I have no issue. Does he tribute Saravis? Okay. Would special summon a monster, you can turn Skull Guardian and get special summon you banish those monsters. Uh okay. I think it was better to keep this on field because I have I still have Blow Whale, right? Like if I trigger Blow Whale, attempt to summon Hita or even Link Rebo. Oh, never mind. Dynamondo. Card field one ritual monster and Grievous shuffle both into deck. Uh oh, he got rid of the blow whale, okay. So he still swings over both, and then next turn he gets to revive both the Skull Guardian and the... Lo oh shit. 
Uh, well, here's a here's a time where I hope I draw into um. Oh, shit, I should have done this at the start of battle phase so that he couldn't swing over the fire engine. Because now fire engine's my only like layer protection against fucking, you know. Yeah, but the attack is already declared. So, I, yeah, I can't use Link Rebo. I fucked up. God damn it. Might as well. Oh, man. I hate myself. Prosperity. Dynamondo. Summon back both. He gets to resolve. Summon. Summon low. Low effects. Search. Oh, place! Any places a trap. Okay. We're gonna do prosperity. I think banish... Dree? So this pops. I think banish three. Just so he doesn't attempt to negate it. So banish one, banish two. Oh, we could banish Wakashi. Shit. You know what? Um... I think I go emergency. Because if I go bike, I have too many spells and traps in my graveyard, right? Yeah. Uh, I can't go bike. I think I go emergency. No. This is uh, equal to the number of. It's a number of light ritual monsters you control to destroy both this card and the as many of the targeted cards as possible. Yeah, with no princess and grave, uh, and then this thing can stop any link summon, and then I. Dude, I wish I had Typhon in this list. Fuck, if this wasn't a budget list, Typhon would go so hard. I mean, Soravis could, could negate Typhon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we don't have a Banished Rescue Ace. God damn it. Yeah, Resolving Emergency here does very little for us. He could preemptively radi uh, Radiance so that, um, yeah, so that whatever we summon, we have to tribute. That's the GG's right there, if I've ever seen one. The only thing we can do is Emergency set back a Trap. Yes. I believe that was game one, right? And I went first. So I'm going first again. What do we have here for going first? I don't think we need cross out. I'll put a tactics in. I don't think we'll need prosperity or an impulse. I'll just put some tactics in just so I could shuffle back shit from hand. And I kind of want to put some cosmics in. I don't think I'll be needing nib. And droll isn't as high impact. But I, I would like some cosmics in the list. Actually, no, he used droll against me. I, uh, I mean, not droll, nib against me. I have to keep a nib in. I think I'll... Taking out engines so hard. I kind of want to keep in Wakashi in case I draw a motorbike. I can go for Baron. Let's go first. That sure is a hand. Well, wish me luck. All right, gaming so far. Add HQ. He's good. To be an emergency. Summon out Turb. Get rid of uh, Lifter, and then we do our set four, which in this matchup kind of doesn't mean much. But uh, okay, we're good. No Ash Blossom yet. Uh, we're gonna go alert. Search Preventer. I think we end on the same thing as last time. Just hope he doesn't have the Call by the Grave again. But we still go for Princess into Blow Whale. And this time, hopefully with, like, Preventer and, like, Cross Out, we can get a 
stronger and board. I think I want to go Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf sh add back the airlifter. Banish my drink. Sunlight Wolf. And back the airlifter. Goth. Preventer's effect. If he has a nib here, he's just good at the game. That's just really all it is. Uh, it doesn't matter who you bring back, because, yeah. We still link up into Blow Whale. How many do we have in Grave? One, two, three, four. Oh, we have four exactly. That's not good. Because then we can't rescue into any of them if we try to resolve HQ now. I mean, we still have emergency. I do want to have the extra layer of protection. So I think I want to go HQ now. I think I want to go HQ to draw one. Ah, oh, Wakashi. Uh, too little, too late. I mean, yeah, and we still have one for one in our grave, so we can't even activate Wakashi. We could go Link Rebo. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, if he nibs us, he nibs us. We're just gonna set emergency set here and phase. He probably drew all engine or he drew board breakers. Super poly. That's fine. Guru. Oh yeah, he, he had to go for Guru. He couldn't go for my dragon. That's cool. Whoa, drop super poly. Do you know what deck you're facing off against my brother? <laughs> you realize that fucking this is rescue ace you're going up against, right? Uh. Okay, I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna let him. I maybe should have emergency, but I'm gonna let him cook. I'm... Cause this is a draw phase, right? Matter of fact. I want to emergency into another hydrant, I think. I kind of want to bring another hydrant out. But should I do it now or should I wait? I think I should wait. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not that bright. Um, we're gonna go emergency. Let's see if he has ash. Uh, no ash or anything. We're just gonna go summon fire engine. Cause if he gets barrier, or if he gets a trap, or if he gets barrier, I think we're kind of screwed. Yeah, and we don't have a Preventer engraved, so we can't rescue into Preventer to, like, book a moon something. Alright, so he places a trap. Um, my reaction to that information. Okay, so he places a trap, three cards in hand, right? So, probably Saravis, like, I'm betting, like, if we try to um, contain... He probably has a Saravis here. And it doesn't matter if he has it. Because. I'm just going to wait until he attempts to ritual summon. And then I'll pop the low with. Uh, with, with an extinguish. Because. That seems like the right thing to do. And then he's forced to tribute Garura. Oh SP. Okay. SP effects. Alright, chain link two. He targets this. 
There's no way he knew what this was. What? That's crazy. Uh, let's do... Um... I believe this has to be... F oh no, they can be different chain links. Okay. Do we summon Princess here? Because I can't like Princess target for destruction. I think I could actually. Princess target for destruction and then uh, use contain on her. I think that's better. Uh, and then he he chains SP. He better not have drawn that fucking call by the grave again. I fucking swear. Because then I have contained to stop SP if it tries to activate its effect. You know what? You know what, you piece of shit? Fucking called by the grave. Yeah, there you go. Fucking drawing called by the grave two games in a row, you asshole. Alright. Alright. Well, now you just lose to contain. Uh that should be good. Alright. Uh Princess gets summoned, and then we get to summon our Hydrant. And then Hydrant can dig his low out of uh yeah, fuck it. Why not trigger Blow Whale? Get rid of this shit. See, triggering Blow Whale is something I would have done in person. So I'm glad I did it there. Uh, he gets Barrier. I mean, that's fine. Let me see. While you control low, your rituals cannot be targeted with card effects. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. Um... He's gonna search. It's fine. Dude, I could rescue his SP Little Knight. That'll be the funniest thing ever. Uh, okay, so there's two things we can do here, right? We can rescue for his SP so that when he summons the Skull Guardian, we can like banish both, or we can rescue for the uh, low so that he can't bring it back when he summons the ritual. Oh, yeah, Sephira. Yeah, I can't do much about Sephira. All right. Cheats out the ritual. Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't extinguish the ritual. Maybe I should rescue right here. Because, hold on. Uh, you can rush summon by triggering monster from Hander Field, right? Uh, let's check the log. Uh, he added Skull Guardian. I don't think he ever added the Ritual spell from deck to hand, right? He only milled it? Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, he does have Saravis. He does have Saravis, but I don't think... Oh shit, time limit. Oh my god. So stupid, man. That's crazy. I hate time limit. Because I'm I'm trying to like actually think like fuck. Alright, well we lost to ourselves that time. Well that's embarrassing. But I think we could have gotten that game too. Because all he had was Sephira. He had ritual spelling he had Sephira, Skull Guardian in hand, ritual spelling grave. We could have rescued the Sephira so that he couldn't, um, he couldn't summon it out, 
it can summon out the skull guardian or it would have him on you need to have another card that ritual summons he possibly had Serabis in hand and Serabis could have like swung over i guess hydrant um and then we could have like extinguished i guess but then he would he still would have been able to cheat out like one of the rituals and then go into low so I'm not sure which one we should have done. I think maybe we let him keep Sephira, let him go into Skull Guardian, and then Skull Guardian. Uh, no, that's tough. That's a tough one. I don't know who would have won that if I didn't get fucking on by the timing. Overall, I guess like it's still a really solid deck. It's mostly just Rescue Ace. Like you will see the Wakashi and the motorbike sometimes, and sometimes you'll probably wish that they were um more non-engine but it's still just rescue ace at the end of the day playing these don't make the deck stronger it just makes it less like you're you're just less worried about bricking i don't think the baron like because going into baron is so rare simply because like you have to open motorbike plus a way into airlifter already like emergency plus another rescue ace or one for one or reinforcement which isn't hard but it's also not likely it's it's like the, the the chances are not in your favor so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this has been your boy nistro here i'm so done like my 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 brain is melted right now and i'll see you guys in the next one peace